Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be diving in to the world of complexion. We're going to be talking about and trying out two new complexion products, a foundation and a concealer from two different brands. The foundation that we are going to be testing and talking about today is the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I finally was able to get my hands on it. It's been sold out at my Ulta for the past couple weeks. And when it has come back in stock, they had not had my shades. And the concealer we are gonna be talking about is from Jouer. Uh, this is their Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. So we're gonna be talking about these two today. As you can see, I already have a full face of makeup on. Um, I already have these two products on my face, so stay tuned towards the end of the video to hear my final thoughts. So let's start off with the NARS foundation. It released a couple weeks ago. So this is the packaging on the inside. We've got a clear uh, glass bottle. It comes with a pump as well. Mine is used. Obviously, I have it on today. Um, today's video is not a first impressions. I actually did use this foundation yesterday. So my thoughts on this foundation today are my yes or no on this guy. And the shade that I picked up is the shade Punjab. And this is actually medium one which I found really interesting because if you've been here for a while, you'll know I'm more of a light medium complexion. I don't usually lean into the medium category unless it's like right smack in the middle of summer and I have a tan. Um, so I was really surprised that this is the shade that worked out for me. I think another shade of theirs that would have worked for me is Fiji and that one is in the light medium category. I forget what number it is, but this is all my Ulta had in terms of the light medium category when I went in yesterday. So I grabbed this one. And we get a standard one fluid ounce or 30 mils with this guy. It is available at Ulta, Sephora, as well as the NARS website. And for the concealer, like I said, this is from Jouer. This is not a new product. Um, they've had this in their line for a while, but it is new to me. Uh, I have the shade Macadamia. And like I said, I do have a light medium complexion. I tend to have yellow warm undertones, sometimes neutral, just depending. And I believe the Jouer concealer is around $24, something like that. I'll put that somewhere here on the screen. All right, so let's dive right into the demo portion of the video. And like I said, towards the end, we will talk about my final thoughts. Let's get into this foundation. Again, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is their latest foundation that they released. I picked mine up at Ulta. The Ulta by my house has been sold out of this foundation, at least in the light medium shades for the past couple weeks, which is why I hadn't been able to pick one up. Um, I didn't want to run the risk of ordering it online and getting the wrong shade, which is why I waited. So the shade we're going to be using today is uh, medium one Punjab. When I was swatching these shades at Ulta, they seemed to run light to me. Let me know in the comments, do you feel that way as well with this foundation of NARS? This is my first time trying any NARS foundation, so I don't know how their other ones uh, run, but they seem to run kind of light. The instructions say, shake well, apply a small amount starting in the center of the face and blend outwards. Okay, so I've been shaking it here as we've been chatting. And I'm going to be applying uh, mine with a brush today. This is how I usually apply my foundations. I have already primed um, on the perimeter of my face. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter um, Gripping Primer. And then in the center of my face, I'm using another primer that, that you will be seeing in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead. I went ahead and like I said, I've been shaking it. So I'm going to do a full pump on the back of my hand. So you guys can see the color. Now tell me in the comments below if that doesn't look light um, to you for a medium tone. I don't know, to me it looks a little light. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply in the center of the face. And I've had my primer sitting for at least a couple minutes um, so far and so I've got that much on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. And we went with a really light layer, so I'm going to be building this. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got that first pump um, blended out. You'll see I use pretty much everything on the back of my hand. And we've got, I would say, a light coverage with the amount that I pump. It pretty much covered the bottom um, two thirds of my face. I think the shade is actually a really good match for me. You guys let me know what, how it's looking on camera, but I think that shade is pretty, pretty darn good. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another pump, full pump, and I'm gonna dot some on my forehead and just add some where I need more coverage. And my skin is not doing the best <laughs> these days, guys. Um, I have, my acne scars are really out there for the world to see and I've been having some breakouts. So you can see what this foundation does for a uh, skin type like mine. I'm combination skin that leans oily. Uh, I am acne prone. I have acne scars and texture. So we can see how this reacts. So you can see how this works. So I hope that can serve as a reference if any of you have the same skin type or skin concerns as I do. Okay, so here's what it's looking like after two pumps. I am getting a really healthy, I am getting a really nice healthy glow um, off of this. It is called the Light Reflecting Foundation, um, but it doesn't look oily. Um, it looks like skin to me, so I feel like it's absorbing into it's absorbing really nicely. I don't feel, you know, it doesn't look like you have a layer of foundation just sitting on top of your skin, how some foundations can look. Uh, the shade match, I am loving. Like I said, I was a little concerned that it might not be. This was literally the only light medium shade my Ulta had and they had it by chance. I had been going in every couple days to see if they had my shade and when I went in, Two days ago um they only had one of these so i grabbed it <laughs> so i grabbed it i was like we're gonna make it work just so i can try the foundation so i would say this is giving light to medium coverage um i don't feel like it's full coverage we built up a little bit with that second pump and i feel like that did uh, give us a bit more medium i'm trying to decide if i want to build up a little bit more just to see but Honestly, I mean, you can still see some of my acne scars and whatnot, but I don't really care. I mean, who, at this point, we all have some sort of skin concern, so let's just embrace it. Nobody's skin is perfect. I like how it's looking like this. So I'm gonna kind of leave it here, this light medium coverage, you know, a little bit more medium, and then let's go ahead and apply my other products, and we'll come back to see how this is sitting. The other thing we're gonna be trying out today is from Jouer, and this is the Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I have the shade Macadamia. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and apply some of that. I'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit. While that sits, I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer slash contour. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer in the shade, I think this is Honey Drip. And then we're gonna come in and blend the Jouer Concealer. And this is my first time using it, so I probably should have done one eye at a time, but Oh wow, that's blending out so nice. And we're blending using my Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush, which is one of my favorites. Well, actually it is my favorite. This is pretty much the only concealer brush that I use. Wow, look at that. That looks really good. It's 
go ahead and blend the other side. Wow, look how nice that looks. That looks so healthy. That looks so healthy and just radiant. Um, dang, wow. Guys, do we have two winners in the same video today? Like both complexion products. Um, it blended into the NARS foundation perfectly like I can't see where the NARS foundation stops and where the concealer starts or vice versa it is you know creasing but I haven't set it yet so and like I've mentioned before nine out of ten concealers well almost ten out of ten concealers crease on my eyes anyway so I'm mainly looking for um coverage and for it not to look cakey and heavy under my eyes but I'm really loving this I am gonna add just a pinch more uh, right here, which is where I tend to have, I feel like I have the most darkness, like right here. Let's get the sides of the nose, just with whatever is left on the concealer brush. Ta-da, what do we think? All right, Joy. Okay, Joy, that's impressive. You guys, I'm super excited. Today is looking like a good makeup day. Um, so let's go ahead and set our under eyes. Again, this is something I do with every concealer. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I set my concealer with a damp sponge. You guys know the drill. This is the LC uh, Velvet sponge. This is my top, 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 my number one sponge. If you have not tried it, do yourself a favor and check it out. I do have a referral code for LC Cosmetics. It is not affiliated, but you can save $5 on your purchase. Um, that link is in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, it is there for you. So I'm just blending out any creases. And as I blend that out, I've already smoothed out the powder on the back of my hand and Take it under the eye and the side of the nose. Ta-da. Powder, no powder. Or set, not set. I like that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set the other side. I don't necessarily bake. I try to take the powder that I've smoothed out on the back of my hand and really just press it in to wherever it is I'm setting. Um, and then if I feel like I need to dust any off later, then I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we have the foundation on and the concealer. So far, I am loving both. I'm gonna hop off to film um, a couple things for another video and then we'll come back when I have the rest of my face done. We started the application of the foundation around one o'clock-ish, um, so we'll use that as our starting point for a time marker. Sit tight, I'll be right back. We're back, I have my full face done. Um, I'm really loving this eyeshadow look today. If you're interested in that, it's coming in a separate video, so stay tuned. So um, it is, let's see, it's about 2.20 right now. So we've had the foundation on for about an hour and it is looking pretty much exactly the same as when I applied it an hour ago. Um, it's giving me that light to medium coverage. It did seem to be buildable, so we'll have to try it again. Um, building it up to full coverage. For this being my first foundation from NARS to try out, I am actually really impressed. Um, I had heard really good things about NARS foundations, but also I had heard that they tend to run really yellow um, or get too oily or too glowy. And um, while I do think the 
naming of the shades and the categories, at least for this foundation, was a bit odd. Like I mentioned, um, I have medium one and I have never been in the medium category. I'm always light medium towards the tail end of light medium. So I found that interesting. It is a bit of a pricey foundation. It's $49, so keep that in mind. And we're getting uh, one fluid ounce, so about your standard size of foundation. But I am pleasantly surprised with this foundation. In terms of the concealer, so far, so good. I was super impressed with how hydrating and um, how hydrating it felt under the eyes and when I blended it out and also the coverage. I don't feel like I use a lot. Uh, this shade match was great. I actually used Jouer's Shade Finder to figure out my shade match on their website. So I think that's really great that I was able to get um, such a good shade match from just using their Shade Finder. I was able to wear this foundation for at least seven to eight hours yesterday. I had a full day yesterday, really busy day of driving around. I had a couple clients to do makeup, makeup for a bride for her engagement party and makeup for two other guests. And, you know, with talking, um, driving around, sun, wind, it was pretty windy yesterday and all that, this foundation held up beautifully. Um, I don't feel like it separated at the end of the night. I didn't get really oily. I usually get, um, you know, just my typical T-zone oils with most of my other foundations. And with this one, by the end of the night, it was, I needed zero touch-ups and that was unheard of for me. So it was really, really pleasantly surprised that it lasted that, that long. But we're not going to be able to do a wear test in today's video but I kind of already did the wear test on my own yesterday without you know taking pictures and videos so I can definitely say um, for me so far this foundation is a win if you are interested in checking out a new foundation I know there's a couple there's several new foundation releases right now there's the NARS ones there's the makeup forever one right now and there's a couple others which I can't think of off of the top of my head um, so far the NARS has worked for me. I haven't tried the Makeup Forever one yet, um, but let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in me trying that one out. As a first impression, the Jouer concealer is a win as well. I do have a discount code with Jouer. I'm gonna leave it in the description bar below and also somewhere here on the screen. You can get 15% off your purchase. It is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission if you decide to use it. If not, no worries. Jouer is also available at Sephora, so if you want to check them out there, you can. We've come to the end of the video, so thanks for spending some time with me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Leila. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. And if you are a returning viewer, make sure you also subscribe before you leave. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation. Have you tried it yet? Have you been interested in trying it? And also, have you tried the Jouer Cosmetics Concealers? They have two. Um, I'm testing the other one as well. Not today, but I have the other one to test. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.